Oh, hi. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading The Remarried Empress episode 91, 92, and 93. Let's get started. If Queen was also a person, would it upset you? Why was Henry so flustered? Huh? Oh. <gasps> <coughs> Your Majesty! It's not that I don't have any clue as to why, but... <sighs> he was perfectly calm when we both talking about McKenna. If Henry wasn't queen, he wouldn't have been so startled when I asked him about queen's identity. <gasps> the Bird clan members must be related. Henry and McKenna are cousins, and if the bloodline is passed down via the father and not the mother... Plus, both Queen and Henry have purple eyes, and they also have gold feathers or hair. <gasps> oh my. <sighs> Could that be the reason why he'd be gone by the time I woke up when I fell, as fell asleep with him by my side? How many times have I kissed Queen? <gasps> Majesty. <gasps> Your Majesty. <sighs> what is it? I've been trying to get your attention for a while now, your majesty. Ah, uh, there was something I needed to think about. Is that because of Lady Krista? Krista? Ah, uh, I have briefly forgotten about the important matter because I was focused on Henry. I have to seize the powers that, skill, that still belongs to Krista. Perhaps Henry so skilled at escaping because he can transform into a bird. This won't do. My thoughts keep turning to him because I'm still sitting down. I'm sorry. Actually, this has nothing to do with Lady Krista. <laughs> I see. Oh, uh, right. You must have plenty of other things on your mind. Oh, what would you like to do today, Your Majesty? Uh, uh, you already visited all the pla palaces in the capital yesterday, except for the ones that are far away. I'm done visiting the palaces. Do you know where my brother is staying? Oh, are you talking about Lord Corsair? Lord Corsair is probably, um, staying at a suite for special guests. Uh, let us head over to The Remarried Empress, episode 91. The Palace Guest Suite my parents chose to remain in the Eastern Empire, but I'm glad my brother is here with me at least. Uh, Lord Gosser. Huh? It seems he's not in his room. Then let's come back later. We shall go to the library instead. Stop, 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 stop. Huh? Huh? Lord Gosser! How dare you! Oh. Queen Navier? I'm so sorry, I spoke without thinking because you look exactly like Lord Corsair. It's fine. I'm Apron Violet. Violet, your majesty. I don't serve in the royal guard, but King Henry personally appointed me as a knight. I'm delighted to meet you, Sir Apron. I noticed you were looking for my brother. Something bad always happens whenever Sylvacious Knight looks for my brother. I wonder if it's the same here. There are a lot of people in this palace who talk about me behind my back after all. Ah, yes. <laughs> he keeps avoiding me. I met Lord Corsair when I helped him find his way to the Western Kingdom, so I wanted to get to know him a bit better. But he continues to be a hard man to pin down. I'm glad that he's not looking for my brother because he's gotten to a fight with him, but... I'm surprised that my brother, who enjoys spending his time with strong people and talking to them about weapons and war, is avoiding this knight, who looks very strong. Uh, now that I think about it, he's been more difficult to track down ever since your majesty arrived. Did you hide Lord Corsair somewhere by any chance? How rude! Oops. I'm so sorry. Um, the way he acts and speaks, he really, is he really a knight? He probably gets along better with my brother. If he's not a typical knight, what exactly did he do for Corsair to avoid him like this? Uh, 
Hmm. I was about to leave because I also came here to see my brother and found he's not here. Ah, oh, I see. Oh, uh, huh? So, sh I, I have a little sister and you couldn't find a finer later in the kingdom. And she possesses every virtue you can think of, your majesty. I see. But she's too innocent. Uh, I'm a little worried because she can't even make eye contact with men. Ah, uh, well, her only fault is that she's innocent. She's clever and intelligent. You know what I mean, right? Of course. Excuse me, Sir Abrin, but I'm going to go to the library now. I see. Let me recommend some good books. You don't have to do that. Oh, uh, then can your majesty recommend me a few? I was looking for my brother just as an excuse. Did Krista send him to spy on me? Huh? That's Rode, the former queen's lady-in-waiting. Uh? You haven't left the palace yet? Uh, huh? I'm popular. All the ladies turn red when they look at me. <laughs> Maybe he's just oblivious. Correct. By the way, does your majesty not want to appoint more ladies-in-waitings? Two ladies who were with me in the Eastern Empire will be coming. Then that makes three ladies in waiting, including me. That's not still not enough, your majesty. I nominate my sister as your majesty's lady in waiting. He is loud. Uh, she's really the loveliest girl you w could ever meet. She's a quick learner and is perfect health, so she'll be a, a great help to your majesty. It'll be a great honor to, uh, to, to my family if you appoint her. Mm -mm. <laughs> I'll forever be grateful for your majesty's generosity. I'd like to meet her with her first, so will you tell me her to come and see me tomorrow? Ah, oh. oh, I will be so annoyed dealing with someone like that. You can absolutely cannot appoint Sir Abrin's sister as your lady in waiting, Your Majesty. Giving such a woman clothes would reflect unfavorably on you as well. Just how awful is she for her to say that? The next morning. I'm Master Violet. That is interesting. Dun dun, Your Majesty. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh. I'm Master Violet. Dun, dun, Your Majesty. Uh. So this is why Rose was so strongly opposed to the idea of bringing her in. Ah, uh, this is Violet. Um, I was taught that a lady must keep her weapon by her side at all times. Uh, I look forward to working with you, Miss Masters. Miss Masters? <gasps> oh, I I'm sorry. It's just that everyone has been calling me Dame Masters ever since I was knighted. Did you just say you've been knighted? Uh, I have. Um, by the way, what do ladies in waiting do? Rose will fill you in. First, I'd like to have some tea. Uh, <gasps> oh, Rose is gonna have a great time. It's so, it's so hard because you're teaching someone from scratch. So, sure. Why did Sir Abrin? recommend a young woman who doesn't even know what a lady-in-waiting is. The Remarried Empress, episode 92. Uh, who? <coughs> who? Is who's lady-in-waiting now? <coughs> Dame Masters, who joined Her Majesty as her lady-in-waiting. I mean, but why? Why do you think? She was waiting for a chance to become Miss Master, not Dame Masters. And it seems she has leaped at the opportunity. <sighs> Why is she so obsessed with that? She's a model subordinate, but that doesn't mean I want her to be my wife's lady-in-waiting. Is what he seems to be thinking. Indeed, Dame Masters is a member of an order of knights. That is only made up of His Highness's own people. Ape Aperin Violet, Captain of the Knights of the Underground. 
Master's Violet, leader of the Unit 2 of the Knights of the Underground, called the Knights of the Underground. And out of all the members is Dime Masters, who has earned the nickname Red Knight because she is the most brutal, that is now serving as lady-in-waiting for Her Majesty. This order of underground knight is currently a secret. <sighs> but I was planning on making an official announcement to make it clear that they are part of my inner circle once I become emperor. So she's going to cut up my wife's steak with the same hand that slit the throat of my enemies? Dun dun. <sighs> this is all Sir Afrin's fault. He kept chasing after Lord Corsair because he was, so, was obsessed with him. And now it comes to this. What? Who was obsessed with who? Sir, Afrin was chasing after Lord Corsair. He went after him every day while you were gone because he wanted to introduce his sister to Lord Corsair. What? Sir Afrin really used his head this time. If Dame Masters become her, ladies, her Majesty Lady-in-Waiting, then she would have plenty of opportunities to meet Lord Corsair. He probably talked Dame Masters into it by saying that if he, she becomes Her Majesty's Lady-in-Waiting, she will, could become a lady that no one could look down on. He may seem slow and clumsy on the outside, but he's quite smart deep down. By the way, Your Majesty, what are you going to do about the training tonight? Should I cancel it since you're probably tired? I didn't know what to make of her at first, but now that I know she served as a knight, it's no wonder that all her movements are so precise. It's so awkward, you know, because she's so like, you know, She's like a tomboy. Have, have, being a tomboy and wearing a dress is just like kind of awkward because you're not very flowy. You're, you're more like uptight, you know? It's just that she didn't know what ladies in waiting do. She catches on quickly. You pour the tea like this when serving guests. I see. Staying straight. Wow. Judging by how she follows Rose's order without complaining, she seemed to respect authority. And the way she stares blankly from the side when I'm saying something is, well, kind of cute, but... <laughs> Cling! I swear on this this lace that what I said was the truth. What? I'll lay my neck on the line if what I said was false, so you do the same. Ah, oh, jeez. There are times lady-in-waitings must argue with people from high society in my place. <sighs> But it's not a good sign if she points her weapon at someone even during a practice run. I feel bad for Miss Masters, but I can see you've been through a lot today and you've had to pick up a lot of unfamiliar things, Miss Masters. Ugh. You should go home and rest. Thank you, Your Majesty. Ugh. I wasn't sure what to think when my brother suggested out of the blue that I become a lady-in-waiting. But I think that being a lady-in-waiting suits me. Uh-huh. You don't threaten to cut off my fingers when I make a mistake. <laughs> You're a really warm person. That's sweet. I'll take my leave. Step, step. Just what kind of environment is she usually in for her to say something like that? You can't just choose ladies and waiting because you have a soft spot for them, your majesty. Especially when you're being compared to Lady Krista on everything. You mustn't let yourself be ridiculed because of your lady in waiting. Sir Apron and Dame Masters may have been knighted, but they are oddballs who haven't been admitted into an order. You don't need to involve yourself with them for no reason, your majesty. Rose is right. Ladies in waiting will be seen as a reflection of me, and at times I must take responsibility for their mistakes or wrongdoings. Even Laura showed an awareness of standard etiquette when it required, but Masters, I didn't ask for her with an ulterior motive in mind like I did with Rose. What if I make her my lady in waiting out of affection and she stabs someone in the banquet hall with her lace? Her brother, my brother, is enough of a headache, but by himself. But on the other hand, it's not easy for people to genuinely like me. Fuck. 
I thought I saw a queen among those birds. This place. They were planning to tear it down because there were our fearsome rumor about it, and there's no use for it anymore. But it's been left alone because all the workers ran away after seeing a ghost. And that's why it has become an abandoned palace. The bird flew definitely the birds definitely flew off in this direction. Splash. Splash. Is that Queen? I wasn't mistaken. Where did all the other birds go? Huh? Oh my gosh! Oh. oh! Oh! Last episode, Navier spotted a flock of birds flying somewhere while she was out on a walk thinking about what to do with Mastis. When she followed the birds to an abandoned palace where ghosts are said to appear, she stumbled across more than she could bargain for. I would blush so hard. I cannot. Oh! I guess as much when he escorted me. He's very well built. The thought that Queen might turn out to be Henry did cross my mind, but I didn't expect him to be completely naked when transforming back. It's as if... He's one of the elves that the legend speaks of. Then that means I actually did all those things to Henry when he was naked. And yet the cunning... Fiend ignorance! Oh my god! Look at- Look at Navier's face! Oh, I can't! It's too cute! But in any case... How is it humanly possible to get that kind of body? Are you saying so you don't have a body like that? Cause if he doesn't- Hey look, he's- Henry- King Harry- Henry is an upgrade! <laughs> <laughs> I I had to get angry at him because at the end of the day he deceived me. I had to get mad, but <laughs> oh, Henry probably had no choice since he said that the details about the bird clan were supposed to be a secret. <clears throat> we're married now, so I had to give him a chance to be honest, but if he tells me the truth, that's also an issue in his own right. What should I do? The Remarried Empress, episode 93. What? Navri is what? The Queen of the Western Kingdom. That's right. Apparently, she's staying at the palace. <laughs> How? How could she become the queen of another nation so soon? I know she was angry. But how, how could she do such a thing? That letter, it might have had something written in secret code. It might have given me a clue as to when they first became inter interested in each other and what they agreed to do. If only I hadn't burnt it back then. Yeah, stupid. <sighs> that will be all. Uh Navier has been my wife since we were young. She's not simply a lover who can break up with me due to a change in circumstances. You divorced her! Oh my... You divorced her to marry Rashta. What? She was my wife who promised to stay with me until death do us part. Well, dang. Plus, the Trophy family is one of the most distinguished families and have, has produced the most queens of any noble family in history. How could someone from that kind of family go over to the Western Kingdom and become their queen? However angry she might have been, she crossed the line. <sighs> I'm going to make her regret it. Pardon? You wish to have it so soon? It's tiring enough as it is. We can't have the ceremony when she's heavily pregnant. He looks pale. Make it as lavish as possible. He's gonna do a wedding, isn't he? I'll make Nairi see the wedding with her own eyes and regret it before she has her own wedding. It's petty, but I need to do something. As you wish, your majesty. What is the current state of public opinion of on Rashda? The public already had an high opinion of her in the first place, but now she's even more popular than ever due to the backlash against Lady Navier. 
That's good, at least. What the public think of her is important to Rashta. Members of high society do try to get on Rashta's good side, but it's just a flattery that is actually intended for me since I am supporting her. They'll soon change their tune and become outraged if they hear that Rashta is to be made empress. The nobles have always opposed empress from common backgrounds as far for, uh, and as for the common folk. I don't know if public opinion will remain favorable when Lady Rashta becomes the empress. <laughs> it won't. It's one thing to get excited about a success story and another to put your fate in the hands of the person from that story. But they'll at least have a more favorable opinion of her than the nobles. Lady Rashta, Baron Lante is here. Uh -huh. We should get going then. They're very tactful. I want to look after them not just because the Duke told me to, but because they're so good to me. Mother, father, I'll see you soon. You don't have to leave. Uh huh? Why is that? <laughs> Offer. Huh? Viscount Ashka Minister? Minister of State Affairs? His Majesty has appointed you as a Minister of State Affairs, Father. Minister? Minister of State Affairs? Huh? Oh! His Majesty is getting ready to make me the, the Empress! We've merely held on to our title and ne never had a special role in the government best out upon us. Evidently, good things happen when you have a, a, an exceptional daughter. You're our treasure, Rashta. She is a lady who has was separated from her parents at a young age and went through so much hardship. And they are all a couple who spent all their money looking for their missing daughter. Oh, they were dramatically reunited after ten years. They have such a bright future that lies before them. Oh my. Oh, don't cry, Baron Lante. Everything will work out well from now on. <laughs> <sighs> to be continued. Alright, guys. That is a wrap. I just... I don't... Look. Sebastian is just so freaking petty. He thinks he's gonna throw this grand wedding. Like, is Nightbear gonna be really hurt about it? I think she's going... To be honest, I think she's gonna feel some sort of way about it, and but I don't know. Like honestly, Naver should just keep on moving forward. Don't look back because he's not worth it, and he's just so irrational. And I don't know, but Rashta is getting stuff her way. She's super happy about it. Very pregnant and about to be married. So. If you guys enjoyed my webtoon reading, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!